What's up guys, Clean Kings here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to front style an 80. Little trick tip video. And for this trick, all you basically need to know how to do is the Ollie. If you have a decent Ollie down, then you can front side 180. There's nothing much to it. Front side 180 is usually one of the first five tricks you learn, like Ollie, Pop Shove It, Kick Flip, Front Side 180, and that's those are like the first couple tricks you learn on flat ground anyways. Now for this trick, instead of um, going straight up, you're gonna go, it's like a shove it, except you're on your board and you go with your board. So whatever way your board goes, that's the way you go. Now for this trick to get the rotation of the front side 180, you need to wind up your body. And as soon as you do that, like, when you wind up your body right before you pop it, and as soon as you pop it, you just bring it back. And I'm goofy, so this is the way I wind up for front side 180. You just bring it back as soon as you uh, pop it. So, I'll show you an example. Watch as I wind my arms and shoulders up, and even a little bit before I popped, I brought them back to get that 180 motion. And you're not going to get the rotation of the front side 180 down like that. It's going to take a few tries, and probably a lot. You're most likely going to land like halfway, a little more than halfway, but you're not going to get the full rotation of it. Now, problems with that may be you're not popping high enough, or you're not um, winding up enough. Now, I have, I have heard some people say that, oh, well, I look stupid when I'm trying to wind up for a trick, but you know, you don't look stupid when you're trying to wind up for a trick. So they just do it without it and they never get the full rotation. And that's the key to getting the full rotation. So you're not gonna look stupid while doing it. But you need to get that full rotation so you need to wind up. And some people choose not to and they can, they can do it without winding up because they've mastered the trick. But for starting out, you need to wind up your body in case you're regular, you wind up this way and as soon as you pop, boom, you turn it back. Now I'm going to show you foot positions. Okay, now it's the foot position part. Now, for most of you, your ollie foot position part is somewhere around this spot right here. And that's uh, how it's supposed to be for your ollie. But it's all good, whatever you're used to, just use that. Now, take your ollie position and watch this foot right here. Just hang your toes off. Just hang your toes off like that, your, with your front foot. That's uh, so your board won't fly out from underneath you. So you just hang your toes off. And of course, the bigger your foot is, the more you're gonna have to hang your toes off. And here, I'll move the board so you can see about how much toe is supposed to be hanging off. And it's about, about right there. That's about good. Make sure you have enough, but not too much. And this, that, that's, that might work, but that's, you could have more toe hanging off to get more control. So about right there, that's about really good. And, what most people don't tell you is for your back foot, they tell you to put it right there. Now, uh, when I learned how to front side 180, this back foot was the huge problem. And I'm telling you right now that if, if you can do it like this, more power to you. But the easiest way to learn it is to not put your foot like this. So what you want to do is do the same exact thing with your front foot. Hang the toes off on the tail in the same exact ollie position. So you're in ollie position and just move your feet off the board a little like that. And if you do that, you're, um, it won't, it'll stay right under you the entire time because if you try it with your regular ollie position, here's an example of what happens. The two front side nades I'm about to show you, I did land, but look at the foot position on where I landed. Almost over half of my foot is hanging off the board on the heel side and you do not want to land like that. If you're going fast or down a gap and you land like that, it is not going to be a very good ending for you. And then, if you try it with your front foot hanging off, but your back foot like this, here's another example of what might happen if you're not used to it. If you already mastered how to do it, then you can do it like this, more power to you. But on how to learn it, you should, you guys, uh, this is what might happen. 
watch as almost instantaneously my back foot comes off and even for a split second my front foot also comes off because I have no control over the board without that back foot being on. And those are the problems that I dealt with for foot positions while I was trying to learn it. Okay, now I'm going to talk about um, where are the good places to learn how to do this trick. Now, for a proper front side 180, you're supposed to roll away fake your switch. But you're not, most of you won't do that when you're first trying to learn it. It'll take a couple days or a couple weeks to learn how to do that. But keep practicing. And places to do it, how to learn it easier. You can try this trick in the grass, but I recommend that you don't. You just take it to straight concrete when you first start trying to learn it. And the easiest way to learn how to get the rotation of the front side 180 is um, on, I live in a big city and with all the houses and the driveways that are slanted slightly up, um, that is where I learned how to front side 180. Now, some of you might not have that, most of you hopefully will, but learn how to do that in like driveways, just like that, or little slanted parts of the street. And that way you'll get used to getting the rotation and you'll roll away regular because you'll roll back down the driveway. And I'll show you an example of that. In this first example, I didn't get the rotation of the front side 180 fully because it's okay to get halfway or a little more so you guys can get used to it and getting uh, the winding up part down. Now for the second part, I got I winded up my shoulders a little bit more and I put a little bit more pop into it and I got the entire rotation. And you do it on the driveway because you probably won't be used to rolling away fakie yet, so you can just roll back down regular. And that is how I basically learned how to get the rotation down. And once I got that down, then I could take it to flat ground and I could roll away fakie and then I, later on I could roll away switch and then I could pop it higher. So that's an easy way to get the rotation of the front side 180 down. And remember, hopefully when you start out, you'll go a bit, you'll go decently fast to where you'll have enough speed to roll away fakie. But if you're going too slow, like you can practice it. If you're going too slow, but you just want to get the rotation of the front side 180 down so you can have it unlocked, then you can do that. So where you do the front side 180, you're moving, you do the front side 180, and you just stop right, right in your tracks. And that's okay, that's a good way to learn it. But after that, you're gonna to wanna to get more speed so you can keep rolling after you land. And then basically, that's all I have to say today. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll get to every single one. And I hope you guys learned something today and go out and learn this trick if you haven't already.